Uh, thermal conduction is a phenomenon by which heat is transported from high to low temperature regions of a substance. Heat will be flowing from the high temperature value to low temperature value, right? Not value, region, right? Heat is transported from high to low temperature region. So here would be the high temperature region and here would be the low temperature region. The property that characterizes the ability of a material to transfer heat is the thermal conductivity. So thermal conductivity is the characteristic of a material to transfer the heat from one location to the other, right? It is best defined in terms of the, this expression, right? Q is equal to minus K dt by dx, right? Where Q denotes the heat flux. This small Q, this denotes the heat flux. In the previous equation, we put capital Q. Capital Q is the uh, supplied energy, right? Small Q is the heat flux. O heat flow per unit time by unit area, right? So, say for example, I have uh, something like this, okay? A kind of rectangle. Okay. And the heat is traveling by this way. All right. So the heat is actually traveling in this cross section area. Right. Heat is traveling in this cross section area. So when you cut, right, again you need to take that particular area. Okay. You need to calculate only on this. That's why it's mentioned heat flow per unit time per unit area, right? So time we can measure, right? From here to here, it will take three, three minutes, okay? And per unit area. So this area means we can't increase the area and measure that. That area should be considered, I mean constant, all right? Area being taken as that perpendicular to the flow direction. So if it is heat is flowing this way, perpendicular to that direction, so that is through this area. So whatever the area the heat is passing through, you need to take that particular area. You can't take this area or this area. Whatever the area heat is passing through, you have to take that particular area. K is the thermal conductivity and dt by dx is the temperature gradient through the conducting medium. Right? dt by dx is the temperature gradient through the conducting medium. So dt is the change in the temperature. dx is the change in the distance. So dt by dx will give you the temperature gradient, right? So in this much distance, how much is the change in the temperature? So say for example, here I have T2 and here I have T1, right? And this length is X, right? So this equation will be coming as minus K into dt2 minus dt1 divided by x, that's the distance, right? Change the distance, uh, that will give you the Q, right, heat flux. Okay, so thermal conductivity, so which is given the table, and dt by dx is the temperature gradient through the conducting medium. So here, this K is the thermal conductivity, that's fine. But why do we have this minus here is due to the graph. So usually heat will flux from high temperature region to the low temperature region, right? Always it will flow like that. So this is why we keep a minus because the gradient of this graph is minus, right? The gradient of this graph is minus. That's why we have minus K over there. The units of Q and K are what per meter square? Q is the heat flux, that is what per meter square. And K, that is conductivity, is what per meter Kelvin. Right, so these are the units respectively. This equation is valid only for steady state heat flux. So, this equation is valid for steady state heat flux, which means the heat is generally flowing from here to here. Right, for situations in which the heat flux does not change with time, right? So, steady means that's the thing, so there won't be any change with the time. Also, the minus sign is the expression indicates the direction of the heat flow is from hot to cold, right? So, high temperature region to low temperature region, that's why this minus sign is there. So this is the equation for thermal conductivity, Q is equal to minus K dt by dx, right? Q is the thermal flux, 
sorry, heat flux is the K is the thermal conductivity value, DT is the change in the temperature, and DX is the change in the distance, right? 